Well, welcome everyone to a new video from Almacen. I am Alejandro, and as we saw in a previous video, where we connect the Sanwoda with the Soli inverter. In this video, we are going to do the same, but with the die inverter, uh, with a die hybrid, we will explain how to connect the power cables, the communication cable. And we previously also made a video about the configuration, which will be to complete that topic a bit. Here we have the die inverter. It's a hybrid. As we can see, it has a generator input, charge input, grid input. And here is where our battery would connect. Now we will proceed to make the connection with this on water battery, as we did in the solid video, and we will see how the screen turns on. The procedure is very similar to what we did with the Soli. Uh, first, we have the power cables, which we need to connect to the connectors of our battery so that you hear the click and then we would insert the cable or through the slot. It's important to have the inverter cover removed to make the connections. We would insert the cable, the screwdriver, then we remove the screw. And we place the cable. Uh, it's important to tighten this part well so it doesn't remain a bit loose or anything to prevent sparks from being created. We will do the same with the positive cable now. Yes, and in the same way, we pass the cable through the positive branch, remove the screw, and once inserted, we tighten. And this is the of Nakadasa Findaradara. And remember that you can find us in our online store at El Almacen, photovoltaico.com, and that you have discounts, promotions, and exclusive news only for subscribers of our channel. Well, here we would have the electrical connection done, okay? So the communication part would remain. We would have to remove a tie on top of this, pass the cable, and so on. As we are doing a test here, we will connect directly. We need to connect the communication part to the battery at the COM1 port and to the inverter at the BMS485 port that appears. Click there and uh, we will have it connected. Now simply turn on the battery by holding it for a couple of seconds. None of the LEDs go through and it would be connected. Uh, it's important that uh, the inverter has this uh, button in blue. Uh, this is the button that activates the battery and with it activated, the screen lights up. Uh, right now, we'll need to proceed with configuring the battery, which you can see in the video we have already uploaded. Since we don't have uh, any load or anything, uh, it's not drawing power from the battery. It's reading that it has 95% charge. Visit us at amazonphotovoltaico.com and if you're a professional, enjoy special prices on all your orders. We look forward to seeing you.